All right, so nerded out some more today. Show you the dash, did some more display creator. Put the M1 logo in there. And then made the uh, eight, nine, and 10 larger, and then added the 11 for the RPM. Also changed out the logo in the bottom left from CPR, or from Cody Phillips Racing to the CPR. And then instead of GPS speed, we now have ground speed. Um, I also added the CO2 line pressure so I can see that <coughs> on my race screen. Just to make sure that the bottle's open before we make a pass. Um, we generally close them all between rounds. So uh, let's get to it. So on the keypad layout, here's what we've got added when we turn on nitrous arm that we now have that that pops up so it's out of the way when it's not active and uh, turns it back on when it is active. So that's our master arm switch. Um, another thing I did is sometimes we're in the staging lanes for a long time. So we lose nitrous bottle pressure because the heater's off. Um, generally, um, it'll just hit 900 or 950 and then turn off automatically in the M1, but I wanted to create an override for it. So if I hold this down um, for, oh, it's like five, five seconds, it'll turn on this nitrous over here. That also shows a red light here, which means that the bottle heater is running and there's an amp draw on it as well. I can still turn the master arm on and off, or if I hold down again, um, I can disable the uh, override on the system. So now we've got nothing there and that goes away. Um, so that, that was for the nitrous uh, low beams here. Now you'll see in the top left, that's there if we run the low beams. So that'll turn on and off. So I thought if I'm adding that, I might as well add something for the water pump. So that comes on with the water pump, the blue here. And then the intercooler pump is orange right next door to it. So when they're both on, I'll actually see that <coughs> as well as the lights. So kind of redundant, but kind of cool to add these features as well. The lights on the dash will not turn on unless there is an amp draw as well. So not just a status activation, but a true amp draw on the system so that we know that the pumps are actually running and flowing. Uh, this one here is for the fans. So you can see a green fan come on there for the engine, and then orange one for the trans or both of them. Well, those are also tied into amperage, so I'll know if they're actually drawing current or just um, not just the status of them being turned on. So, as before, we've always got our launch RPM. We can adjust that on the fly here. As you can see, that just rolls through a bunch of settings that we've got in the M1. Uh, nitrous pressure will be there, um, as well as lambda. So, so now there's no mistakes. Make sure that the nitrous uh, master arm is on there. Uh, one other thing I did today, you see this orange light here above alarm. Nobody really uses that light for anything. So um, I wanted to indicate that that was the neutral safety switch was active for a start position. So if you see on this, on my trans, I have a line pot that shows gear position. So we're in park and we can go to reverse and neutral back to first, up to second. So as you can see, right now that orange light is off because we're in second. If I go back to first, it's off. If I go forward to neutral, it'll kick on. That means that that light is uh, basically our neutral safety switch. So we can pass tech. Right now, I could start to push the starter and get action, but as soon as I put it in reverse, that system won't work anymore. You see we're in reverse. Same thing with uh, second or first. So I'll check that when you go through tech. Um, if the gear position sensor fails, I wanted to have something in play just so I could start the car like in the staging lanes or something. So I made it if you hold this button down for five seconds that it will actually start to fire off the starter. See there, I'll just lift. Um, so there is an override to it, but you really gotta hold it for a minute before it'll fire it off. 
So anyhow, um, still have our traditional screens here. Didn't really change much with these. Well, we put Lambda down here on our uh, sensor data page and then did some reallocation and naming on our PDM page. So won't go through those. Uh, just added this stuff today as well as the M1 logo. So yeah, buddy, we'll see ya.